It certainly is, and we'll have to see if they do have an answer today. The game is ready. Game number one of the North American Championships today. It is Cloud9 versus Mystery Org. All right, we got the first matchup of the day here. Let's take a look at the comps. Uh, something we saw yesterday here. Uh, this is what the, the European squads were trying to run into Mage Lock teams. Mistweaver, Fire Mage, Windwalker coming out of the Mystery Org. And there, of course, is the man of the hour, Mr. Sidhu, on your screen. And then from Cloud9, we got the Mage Lock Paladin with that Frost Mage, their bread and butter comp. So this is the matchup Mystery Org wanted. Let's see if they can execute. Game number one is gonna be extremely important in this series. If they do go the distance, having a small map in game five against Cloud9, well, it's something that you probably want. Ooh, this is a great start. Chanimal going down to 10% health immediately. He's gonna be using his gateway, but Trill's still all over him. Sam, I am actually playing the hasted Greater Pyroblast spec. This is something we saw Jamili pull off quite nicely when playing with a rogue, and looks like Mystery Org is going to be trying it out themselves. Great pressure so far, already getting the sacrifice out of the way. You can see the Greater Power Blast just flying out over and over. Significant damage coming in from Sam I Am, and all that haste really allows him to win these kind of trades with Wealthy Man as well. So this is not a bad start. Let's see what Cloud9 is going to be able to do. And the nice part about it is Channel has to play at a pillar, which means he might stack up with Cubsy and get cleaved down by Trill. So I like the build coming out from Mystery Org here in game number one. They had an explosive start. Channel trying to take control of Trill back here. Wealthman blinking backwards as well. But Sam I am secures crowd control. That's a full polymorph. Can they stay on target? Oh, but Cubsy activated Vitality Conduit right before it, totally negating all of the damage on Channel. It was a nice read by Cubsy. These polymorphs aren't going to be too valuable. Do they have maybe a leg sweep to follow up? They're not going for it. Cubsy He's got Avenging Wrath. Nobody on Cloud9 going to be taking damage here. It's going to be Mystery Org that could be in trouble. Sam's still just lobbing out Ooh. Pyros, though. Cubsy gets stunned up. Might be a bit of a mistake. They Oh, they overlap. Big opening there by Mystery Org. And I, I have to say, it's, it's game one, but this is looking like an entirely different team when it comes to this matchup. Mystery Org are very impressive. Mystery Org are actually owning right now, and Shanimal swapped his pet right there to the Fell Hunter, which means, Cubsy, you are stuck in that Ring of Frost, my friend. Sam, I am still uh, losing the trade, though, because Sidhu was cross cc on the opposite end there, so uh, both healers in CC, no DPS are going to have to use any uh, real cooldowns here, since everyone's kind of playing just scared. And right now we see uh, C9 here trying to get some pressure, Shanimal dumping out his Inferno, Sam, I am taking massive damage here, one Chaos Bolt comes through, Sidhu gets the life cocoon there to save the day. And now I am extremely scared here for, for Chanimal. I think he's in big trouble. Nice preemptive uh, vitality conduit there by Cubsy, saving the day here. This was a big attempt here. Touch of death with the fourth group from Trill. No unending result, no sacrifice. Could have honestly been the divine shield or even the game here if Cubsy didn't get that pre vitality conduit. But Cubsy keeping it cool. Now Sam, I am taking a lot of damage here. Might need to ice block. Sidhu powering through here with the soothing miss, but that was a close call. Both of these teams very evenly matched so far. Yeah, it was a very nice nether ward by Channel. reflected a greater power blast, and that's what kind of set up a lot of that burst damage on Sam I Am. And so far, I mean, it hasn't been looking too bad for Mystery Org. Cloud9 has definitely been able to hold on, still get some pressure of their own. Trill looking across the map, and we're just going to be seeing Channel drag across the map over and over, uh, just trying to create as much space as possible, making it difficult for Sam I Am to kind of abuse a pillar and he's going to be snared up now, and this is the exact positioning that Cloud9 wants. So at some point, Mystery Org, they're going to have to push in. Sam I'm looks like he's ready to go. Sidhu as well, rolling across the middle of the map. Greater Power Blast being channeled out, gets feared up, and good denial so far by Wealthy Man and Channel with Polymorph, Fear, Counterspell, Spelllock to really shut down those Greater Power Blasts, and that's going to be key if Cloud9 wants to stay in this game. They've pinned Channel out of line of sight, but Cubsy manages to pull him back from the brink here. Hammers down onto Sam out in midfield. That can be dangerous when facing Mage Lock. Can Channel and Wealthman follow up with any damage? Doesn't look like they have any available. Sidhu easily going to top Sam. The dangers here for Mystery Org are, of course, deep dampening. That Mistweaver is likely to run out of mana faster than Cubsy, and the entirety of Mystery Org could be overwhelmed. Ooh. They really need to get aggressive, and they are. Perfect timing here, interrupting Channel and crowd controlling Ooh. Cubsy at the same time. That's going to net them the medallion, the sacrifice. Big push, but now a counter assault ah. by Cloud9. Oh, they're so close to the cauterize, but that temporal shield perfectly soaks the hits, topping Sam, but a full polymorph land. Sam's still in trouble. They might kill him two health bars over. That's going to be a cauterize. Oh, he's going to ice block before it. 
try and save the cauterize for later, but Sidu is still crowd controlled. They're swapping to Sidu, trying to really pressure him a bit here, but I don't think they're gonna net a kill, but an ice block is still a great point for Cloud9 to hit, pulling themselves back in the game. Yeah, and Cloud9, right now, they have that wizard formation, so. Uh, it's not all bad though for Mystery Org, but Sidu gets getting spell up right now. Sam might actually get the cauterize triggered. Sidu needs to do something here. He gets a shield with that blazing barrier. Sidu now in a full poly, but he does get the pre cocoon right there. Sam I am now polymorphing up Cubsy. It's time to go, go, go. Channel knows it. He's trying to run around the corner. Sidu's going for the song of CG. Can he get it? He gets the leg sweep. Channel already across the map. And now Sam is going for Cubsy here, but Trill is not there. So unfortunately. Uh, well kited there by Channel and Mystery Org are not going to be able to net themselves any cooldown. And they have, I think, one more attempt here before Cubs is going to have his Gladiator's Medallion coming back up. But if Nizolf blesses his fingers, he might get that sacrifice back a little bit before that trinket, and then he could pre-sacrifice a potential crack control chain. So uh, Mystery Org, they need to try to get a push happening right now because Channel just got his unending resolve back. All the cooldowns they forced. Uh, are coming back up and now they get the polymorph. Wealthy Man is already trying to shut it down. He spell steals the combustion. Shazam going for the resheep and gets denied there. Has to use it on Wealthy Man. And uh, this was basically the attempt that they would have before Cubsy has all of his cooldowns back. So now you can safely say that C9 are in a pretty big lead, having forced uh, Sam I Am's ice block and having all of their cooldowns back. Yeah, I mean, I feel like I like what Sam's doing now, kind of just looking for greater power blast and who he can hit. I mean, that damage starts really adding up later on, but I think Cloud9, and it, they, they might have been prepared for this. I mean, this is the only team that beat them in the round robin was Jamili's team, the team that actually used this expedient greater power blast build. So maybe they have practice, because it seems like their denial on Sam I am is really strong. Big damage now on a Sea-Doo forced him to trade out the life cocoon in order to survive. Channel looking for a big chaos bolt on Sam I am gonna be taking a huge hit but a nice temporal shield Sam I am got about two minutes left on that ice block he's getting bursted down once again definitely wants to hold on to that cauterize see who keeps him alive and with that vitality conduit now a little bit of damage being used out on Channel. Sam I am finds one greater power blast on Channel. Trill actually portaling away right now mystery org they're completely split up look at Trill on the other side of the map this is not the positioning that they want Trill is going to use flying serpent kick get back the target but Channel is at immaculate positioning and kiting in this match so far, making it really difficult for Mystery Org to get anything going. Yep. That's what you would expect from Cloud9 and their mage lock. That's why we consider them the best in the world, in my mind. So Mystery Org have a lot of work ahead of them here. Trill and Sam I am and Sidu, of course, BlizzCon champions from a couple years back playing together in the arena here with a different composition this time around. They're rolling up on top of Channel. Sidu's trying to go after Cubsy. Cubsy's ducking around the corner, but he gets caught. Triple crowd control engaged here by Mystery Org. Nice song of Chi-G for follow-up. Greater Pyro in the Whoa! sky. Big connect. Cubsy respects. Trades the trinket and the sacrifice. Stabilizing Channel at 10% there. Now looking to recover and turn it around. Swap over to Sidu in the Hammer of Justice. Chaos Bolt lobbed out by Channel. Shadow Fury for follow-up. Not enough damage. Sidu gonna walk it off back to the pillar. Sam out in midfield looking for greater pyro blasts. Is there another word? There is reflecting the greater pyro back onto Sam right when they polymorph Sidu. Beautiful timing between Channel and Wealthy Man. That could just be it. Sam's cauterize about to trigger. He's so dangerous. How on earth did they not force the cauterize there? Sidu still in a fear. Sam's temporal goes off, but Sidu's out of crowd control. Now Cubsy's the one in crowd control. Sam pulls the trigger on combust. Wealthy Man strips that off immediately. Realizing that's going to be a big threat. Song of Chi-G lands from Sidu on the Cubsy. Trill ports right back on the channel. Most port, nice positioning. Storm Earth and Fire. Trill gets feared for a moment. Cubsy's going to pop out of the crowd control and stabilize the team. They swap to Sidu amidst all the chaos and get Life Cocoon. Then Polymorph is Life Cocoon. Switch back to Sam. Cloud9 and Mystery Org really all over each other. Sam going to respect the Dark Soul and trade his Ice Block that just became available, but Sidu is still in crowd control. Trill is as well. Ice Block is going to be fading shortly. Chanimal gets another Fear. Big Flurry combo by Wealthy Man, unloading all those Icicles. Sidu gets out of crowd control. Sam's starting to stabilize, but Infernal's out for Chanimal and a Frozen Orb down. And once again, if Cloud9 can make it into those deep stages of dampening, all of this little poke damage is eventually going to add up. Yeah, and right now, Sam, he's going to recover behind that pillar. He just got counterspelled, so it's a good time for them to go. He's going to counterspell Channel, meaning no Nether War. Two Graders are going to connect. Is there a sacrifice? There's not, but there is a Vitality Conduit. Scubs is going to activate that, and 
Um, look, did Sidu break that poly there? I, I don't see, uh, there's a fella on there on the map, so I don't know how Cubsy made it. Oh, he might have had a, a, a Nizoth prong and actually got his sacrifice back exactly as he got poly right there. I think that's what happened. And uh, uh, it's lucky for Cubsy because when that poly was being casted, Sack had 20 seconds left on it. Sam now in a fear, getting counterspelled. And here comes the Chaos Bolt. He's in big trouble here. Sidu activates the Vitality Conduit. He activates that immunity to interrupt with that Zen Focus T. And he's going to go ahead and heal Sam a little bit. But he's still kind of low here. Shinable's still looking for more damage. Sidu thought that fear was going to be on him. So he tried to pre cocoon the fear right there. And I mean, he eventually did. So not the worst trade there for Mystery Org. But they don't really have much cooldowns left for Sam I am. And once again, Chan has. On ending resolve, Cubsy has Trinket and Bubble. They don't have the sacrifice, but they have Avenging Wrath, so a lot of heals, a lot of defense still on Cloud9. And we see another push here. Song of GG, gonna be casted out. It's gonna connect onto Sidu. Wealthy Man, he's trying to peel the situation, but Sam is gonna connect here. Big damage onto Shanimal. Still rolling CC, a sheep onto Cubsy. What are you gonna do, Chani? Force well. away, he's taking a lot of damage. And there it is, overlap from C9 using that Wings and that Trinket from Cubsy and the Unending Resolve, and now Sam's in trouble, Ben. Oh, yeah, he's in trouble. He's in the middle of the map. He's still just channeling out Greater Power Blast. It might be channelable that it ends up falling, and Cubsy's forced to trade out his Sacrifice as well through his Avenging Wrath. I mean, things are becoming really unstable in this matchup so far. Sam I Am has two minutes left on his Ice Block. Cloud9, uh, though, they have to be careful. These Greater Power Blasts, they start really adding up. If you let one or two slip by at this point in dampening, Cubsy is really going to struggle to recover. Sam I am in the midfield, blinking in right now. Wealthy Man trying to deny him a little bit. One Greater Power Blast gets sheeped up. He really wants to slow down that damage. And Cloud9, at this point, they're going to have to play perfect. Sam I am lands one Greater Power Blast. It gets, actually does not get reflected. Song of TG on Cubsy, and this could just be it. Channel kiting away. Beautiful portal. The Trill is all over him. Nicely done there with his Transcendence. Chanimal getting caught up in a stun. Big Fist of Fury. Touch of Death is rolling right now for Trill. Is there a response? Cubsy just trying to power through with his Divine Shield, but Chanimal takes a huge hit. Down to 10% health. Still, Cubsy barely holding on. Can they take him down? Sam I needs to connect a little bit of damage, but it looks like Cloud9 will be able to hold on. But what a close call. Oh, full sheep. Oh, that full sheep. Chanimal's in trouble. Huge damage from Sam. Trills in a poly. If he connects here, he might be able to close it out in game number one. Light sweep on the Chan. Cubsy, he's got his Avenging Wrath. He just oh. needs line of sight. He gets the sacrifice up. Just in time, Chanimal's going to stop taking damage. Now Sam in trouble. Locked down in a stun. Wealthy Man is absolutely blowing him up. Cloud9, turn it around, take game one. Wealthy Man is a legend. There at the end, he stops Sam and uh, on the sheep, and he stops Sidu on the Aura Mastery and the Song of Chi G. He polys Sidu and stops Sam there, and then turns it around as well in that same moment. Absolute carry. <laughs> well, well done, Cloud9, taking game number one here when it was really looking like Mystery Org may have had that four. A second, is that gonna be? Do you feel like though that they were close enough, Mystery Org, that they could potentially get a game off here in this next game here, Ben? Uh, I mean, that was probably one of the closest games we've seen, honestly, from oh, Mystery Org. That, look at this, that look strategy looks not too bad at all. Look at this. Sheep, it's kind of spelled, son of GG. Sheep, win. Because <laughs> he got the sack there. Sorry. Yeah. No, no, it was really good denial there by Wealthy Man. You can just see what a high level all these players are playing at. I almost want, I mean, Sidu is taking quite, I don't know. I feel like Sidu playing Relentless, he's getting put in a lot of crowd control. There's obviously a lot of value there, but maybe Trinket might be worth it. Just so during those moments, he can trick it out. I don't know. Uh, but I definitely think, uh, to answer your question, yeah, that didn't look too bad for Mr. Gorg. I would not be surprised if they tried this exact composition. Uh, once again, just to kind of see how it goes, because I, I feel like there was a lot of really close calls in that game. I mean, Channel barely held on at like 10% health multiple times, and I think if it just went their way a little bit more, it could have been a different result. Yeah, you know, I believe the last time they faced each other, Mystery Org and Cloud9 in the Circuit Series, they played this composition a couple times uh, versus Cloud9 as well, so that that clearly they, they must know something here with this composition and have confidence that it could potentially beat Cloud9 here in this series. Subatiz, what about you? Would you like to see them continue play this? I, th I think so, but I'm wondering what their blind is going to be because I, I feel like they could get countered. I mean, they could just switch if they if they wanted to. Let's say CD's team is probably going to pick a small map, right? And then Chanimal's team could just blind lock Windwalker Mage themselves with Paladin. 
on a small map if they don't want to play this matchup, but they've been playing Mage Lock so often that I don't think they'll change it unless it's like blatantly obvious they're not going to win, even though that last game was close. Um, but on the small map, is CD's team going to keep... I think they will. I mean, this seems like it should work. Uh, out of all the options that I've seen so far from Mystery Org, Windwalker, Mage, Mistweaver, I mean, they're able to get pressure early game. They had a couple of opportunities. They were so close to winning in, in the, like those last final seconds of the match that, I mean, this, this has to be their best bet. I'm just a bit worried when they have to lock blind. Let's say CD's team wins this next game and they have to lock blind, that Channel's team might have like an even harder counter. All right, we are going to be going to hook point cloud nine going to be locking in their composition here i feel like ven you always have opinions about hook point um how are you feeling about this matchup with this map i always have opinions no i like, yeah. I, like hook point. <laughs> I just feel like when when i play frost mage i always enjoy this map just because it feels like when you're dropping a blizzard in a frozen orb it's it's really difficult to avoid that damage so that's normally what i'm talking about but it makes sense i mean for Mystery Org, I think this small map, maybe they still go with the hasted Greater Power Boss build. I mean, they could try to lock in a cleave and kind of test the waters a little bit. Normally, it doesn't work out for them, but there might be something that they want to, you know, at least try uh, for today. Just see how it goes. You know, maybe it's going to be a good day for them. Um, but yeah, I think even on the small map. Uh, playing the Hasted Greater Pyroblast build is, isn't too bad. I mean, it's going to be a lot more difficult for Cudsy to avoid Sam I Am. Um, and also, it's going to be a lot more difficult for Channel to actually kite around and get away from Trill. So, I do think for either composition, it kind of makes sense that they locked in Hook Point. Um, as normally, it's not the best map for Mage Lock. Did anybody figure out how many gnomes those pillars are? I stand by uh, eight gnomes. I think if you take eight, <laughs> eight. gnomes and they, you place them all next to each other, you will cover the exact amount of area that the pillar has on one side. Eight by <laughs> eight gnomes. Yeah. Someone needs to figure that out for us. Unit of measurement. They're Try to go to like a hardware store and <laughs> go to a hardware store and ask for like, yeah, I need some wooden planks, about eight gnomes by eight gnomes, and see what they do. <laughs> All right, well, about 40 seconds left here, Mystery Org, to choose their composition, sticking with that Windwalker Fire Mage CD on the, the Mistweaver here. This is a best of five series double elimination for this competition. Grand finals is where both of these teams really want to be right now. Winner of this tournament is the winner of the North American region for the AWC BFA circuit. So pressure is on in game number two here. They clearly want to tie it up. How do we feel like in terms of length, this is going to go hook point. Is that going to like shorten the length of this at all? This, this next game, Super D's? It's a cloud nine game. I don't <laughs> yeah. like that more often than not. Like there's no way this is ending <laughs> before dampening. Wait, so wait, 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 we, we need a Zico. We need a Zico, uh, analogy. Uh, well, with the, the dampening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's hear it. Um, well, it's kind of like my <laughs> visions, you know, I can't just, like, I'm not an ATM, I can't just press a button and uh, boom, <laughs> there's an analogy for you, perfectly fitted. But I mean, if I if I would have to say something here, um, I would say we're heading into some shark infested waters here uh, on hook point, and um, we we're probably not gonna be having too much fun in the ocean today, I would say. It's going to get a little bit chilly pretty quick. All right. Well, you heard it, heard it here. It's Cloud9 versus Mr. York in game number two on hook point. Yeah. And I think uh, one the one thing uh, I like about Sam's build, even aside the fact that, you know, he's able to get off these greater power blasts, but it also makes it a lot more reasonable for him to get out crowd control. And although he's squishier, I think it doesn't really matter pre-dampening. I think Seduce should be able to heal through, but they're actually going with the Seduce play immediately. Seduce into Polymorph onto Seduce. He's actually switched over to Gladiator's Medallion, so wants to have that emergency uh, kind of uh, trinket so he can get out of uh, crowd control and heal up Sam I Am when he really needs it instead of, you know, the relentless reducing crowd control the entire time, but you don't really have it when you absolutely need it. And I think that's one of the struggles, and uh, I, I like that adaptation from Mr. Reward. All right, let's see if it pays off here. Crowd control secured on the Cubsy. Nice start, but Sidu as well in a fear. Doesn't look like Mr. Eric's taking too much heat, though. Channel pops Dark Soul. 
This could be a big threat. Is he going to find a Chaos Bolt? He's baiting interrupts. He lands the stun. One Chaos Bolt. Looking for the second off the back of a fear. Sidu respects it with Life Cocoon. They're going to try and crack it with some Chaos Bolts. They finally get through the Absorb, but is the crowd control going to be enough here? They interrupt the fear. Weltman blinks in for another poly. Cubsy tries to get in position, gets intercepted by Sam. Does manage to get removed and now goes for a Hammer of Justice. Sam is isolated, but he's still lobbing out Greater Pyros. Channel on the run. Trying to line of sight those greater pyros. The biggest threat to Cloud9 is Sam this early on in the game. Later in dampening, Trill becomes more of a pressure point. Ring of Peace knocking Channel out into the open. I think that's going to be very important for Mystery Org. Ring of Peace on these small pillars so that Sam doesn't get line of sighted on his greater pyros. That could definitely be a game winning play at any point. Yeah, and we're going to see if they can make any of those game winning plays. He gets a sheep, but he gets singed right away right there so unfortunately for sam they're not gonna have the crowd control they're going with a dr shape could be enough if they have a stun out but it doesn't look like it's you who's the one in crowd control sam is the one in trouble see the trinket renewals right there is it gonna be enough to keep sam alive he does dispel him with that renewal heals him through the pillar because that renewal does go through pillar so very nice stuff but i do want to say sam i want to see you go for those uh sheep novas at the same time because this is this is just got a free singe right there once again so sam is just trying to rely on those four second crowd control chains essentially by uh just letting him singe and then instantly reshipping the singe and then maybe use a dragon's breath if they have big damage but i think they can do more than that i think uh, if you blink nova you can uh, get that 50 50 big damage coming in in that leg sweep though and uh, they are going to net themselves the trinket sacrifice there from Cubsy. They already forced out Chance Trinket. So uh, next time they have Leg Sweep, which is in a couple of more seconds on Trill, they could potentially do a, a Paralyze setup, uh, Paralyze on Cubsy, and, uh, you know, a stun on to Chan and see what, what that could lead to. But right now it is Mystery Org on the run and run here. See you, Fear. Sam just uh, trying to get some control of a wealthy man, trying to get some greater pyroblasts. And I think that's a, I think that's the, the smartest move here. You just stay back, and when you get a greater pyroblast, then you initiate crowd control. And now C9 are making a big push here. Yeah, big push. Let's see what happens. I mean, are they going after Cubsy? Cubsy uses Trinket, and it wasn't that much damage on the channel. I guess the Nether Ward reflected the Greater Power Blast, and Sam I am is actually the one that's in trouble with a full fear on Sea-Doo. This could easily be the Ice Blocker cauterized from Sam I am. Well done by Cloud9, kind of turning the situation on its head. I mean, that's exactly what happened in game number one. Channel was just so low, but eventually Mr. Warg, they get caught in crowd control, and Wealthy Man's able to get out a big flurry of damage onto Sam I am, and they can turn it around really, really quickly. Polymorph's going out. Once again, Cloud9 is a little bit of crowd control on them. CD's going to be pushing forward and landing the song of Chi G, but it breaks. I'm not sure what actually broke it, but it got singed off there by Chanimal. So a lot of value coming in from this Imp so far in this game. And uh, it looks like the full Polymorph will land. Chanimal, once again, using the Nether Ward. Touch of death from Trill. This is big damage on Chanimal. And it is going to be Cubsy who gets singed out of the Polymorph once again. And Chanimal should be okay, but. Still, these, these moments where Sam is able to get off a few greater power boss, really, really scary for Cloud9. I've also noticed that Channel and the team of Cloud9, if they have Nether Ward, they'll wait to engage crowd control when Channel has Nether Ward. They'll reflect a greater pyro and that'll start the burst. But right now they're a bit on the back foot. They do manage to dispel the polymorph into another one, though. Nice follow up by Sam. Cubsy respects that, trading his trinket and sacrifice. Channel stops taking damage during that ultimate sacrifice, redirecting it to Cubsy, and then Cubsy can more easily heal himself. He's not targeted. Nice stun on Sam during the Polygon C2. Great execution here by Cloud9 in game number two. Temporal on 10%. Is it going to be enough? They break up the chain. Nice counterspell on Wealthy Man and Polymars to shut it down. Sidu recovers the team. Both sides are stable. Although the Glyre's Medallion out of the way for Cubsy is a big opening as we see Sidu moving up. Rolling in for that leg sweep. Song of Chi G dispelled. Is there going to be a follow up? Any sort of punish? Doesn't look like it. Sam can't. He's shut down by Wealthy Man. Trill the target at the moment here as Cloud9 are just kind of cleaving two targets down, maybe trying to build a mana advantage. Sidu still holding strong in terms of mana. Dampening has just begun. Nice singe on the dispel there. Sidu tries to port. Not, he does manage to get out of line of sight. Cubsy out of crowd control. This is Dark Soul. Animal could be a big threat. One Chaos Bolt. Sidu's in a great position though, just easily healing around the corner here. All that damage is going to be for not onto Sam, I can imagine. Sam blinking in aggressively. Cubsy trying to reposition in the back line. Sam still pushing forward. Pre-temporal here, trying to anticipate a hammer of justice, and then blinks in for oh, a Frost Nova to cover the singe. 
but it doesn't get lucky, unfortunately. It does manage to land a half polymorph, though, and a dragon's breath. Really trying to push down. Song of Chi-G from downtown from Sidu. Snipes Cubsy, but it's on diminishing return. Not going to be too much value. Avenging Wrath up. Cubsy's healing is maxed out here. I feel like it's unlikely that we would see Chanimal die. And now it's Sidu in stuns. Sam, I am in trouble. He's just going for greater pirates. He might get nether warded. Chanimal nether wards it. Sam fakes out the nether ward. Spell steals it away. Blinks in and Polly's Cubsy. Nice read by Sam. Sidu uses a life cocoon, so Sam is stable. Can they power through Chanimal here during this opening? Do they have enough damage? No. Only one second left on the polymer. Chanimal recovers. And both sides once again into a neutral position. Yeah, and uh, that that play that he did there with the Blink, Nova, Sheep, that's exactly what Sam needs to do to try to cover this Singe. And it's not an easy thing to do because sometimes he needs to know what a DPS. Sometimes Cubsy has a freedom on himself as well because he's anticipating that play to happen. So whenever he thinks, he thinks he's being polyed, he puts a freedom on himself, uh, removing the Frost Nova from the equation and allowing the Singe to have a 100% chance of uh, picking the Sheep since it picks a random debuff. Uh, it's kind of a 50-50 but you can make it 100-100. Uh, and now, Sam, just line of siding here, trying to shut down the CC chain, and here we go. He gets a sheep, gets stinged, no resheep. Now he's gonna go for it, but he's not gonna be able to find it. Uh, that is unfortunate, because if he goes for, actually, no, they're gonna have the Song of GG, so could still be good for them. They still have some crap control. Oh, just to get connect, big damage on the channel. He's gonna use his trinket in that exchange, and Cubs use his trinket, sacrifice there as well. So not a bad push there from Mr. Org, Sidu getting a nice song of chi there sam if you can find a few poly into poly into a song of chi that could definitely be a recipe for mystery orb to win this match or if they can get the shape nova combo and get lucky with the singe i think those are the two openings that you want to try to find if you are in mystery org paralyze onto cubsy trill's trying to go for a solo mission but once again wealthy man just denies with polymer spam and slows yeah, this is interesting. I mean, Sidu, his mana, not doing super great. We're at about 20% dampening, and Sam, I'm getting exploded. Trinket Life Cocoon once again coming in from Sidu, but now with no Trinket available, they only need one good push on Sam, I am. He still has Cauterize and Ice Block, but we saw what happened in the last game. They get Sidu and a Polymorph three times and a Fear three times. That is a lot of crowd control he has to deal with. Let's see what Mystery War is going to be able to do. So far, Cloud9's been doing a really good job kind of responding to these greater power blasts. Trill's been also doing a good job creating kind of solo pressure in this game against Channel. But Sam, I am getting blown up and forced into the ice cube. And with, I mean, I, at this point in 21% dampening, I feel like it's extremely unlikely to see an ice ball coming in from Sam, I am. So this is exactly where Cloud9 wants Mystery Org. Sam, I am just not getting topped off. The crowd control still coming in. And Sam might just die in this one exchange. Trill doing everything he can, spamming out Vivifies to keep him alive, and they do manage to hold on, but until Sidu has that trinket up in about a minute, Cloud9, they gotta be feeling really good. Uh, Mystery oh. Lord, they, this is devastating for them. Full Polymorph. Chanimal not in position to do too much damage just yet, getting Polymorphed on his way in here. Are they gonna go Sidu with no trinket? Full fear out of the polymer. No Sam in the hammer of justice. Three versus zero. Huge pressure from Channel. Chaos Bolt from downtown. Temporal on 1%. Is it going to be enough? No. Wow. And Cloud9 take Mystery Org's best map, moving to match point. That was insane at the end there. I, I, like, Sam was full HP, and the first sheep was actually kind of ending when Channel finally could start playing. I really didn't think he would die there, but that was an insane setup with the hammer and they got the fear and the shadow fury just to get, just to allow Chan to get enough time to get another chaos bolt and then the ray of frost to finish things off. It was actually really clean. And one thing that's kind of interesting is that Chanimal can cast a chaos bolt in a DR shadow fury and still get it off in time. We're gonna see it right here. So sheep comes out, Sam's full HP, wealthy man is kicked. Sam thinks he's completely fine. Chanimal is not even in the fight yet. It's DR Sheep, Channel still not in the fight. Now triple DR Sheep, there it is. One Fear, look at his Chaos Bolt, and then Shadow Fury. Look how DR that Shadow Fury was. Still gets another Chaos Bolt because he went for the Shadow Fury out of the Hodge, and that's it. Man, not looking good so far for Mystery York in this series against Cloud9. Now they're on match point here. Cloud9 only needing to win this next game to win this series and send Mystery York down to the lower bracket here. Mystery Org chose that last map. Hook point was their choice here. Magelock still manages to win on these smaller maps. And now the question is, where did they go next, Ben? Well, <laughs> they didn't win on the Grand, <laughs> which is a bigger map. 
didn't win on the small map. I mean, there was moments where you get the feeling that it could, Mystery Org could win these games, but Cloud9, they were just playing so clean. I mean, this is what you would expect from them, right. um, especially you know at this point in this tournament. What are you going to say? Quick quick question for Sid. Do you still think X-Set's Mage Rock is as good as that? Uh, I mean, on a, on a good day. <laughs> On a good day, yeah. I think on a good, so. Not even on their best day, bro. I don't know. I feel like it's getting pretty close. They, they, they have stepped up, that's for sure. But do you know, think it is Zico? That, no, I don't think so. Like, do like, I think well, X-Set think... would have beat Mystery Org on that map? Probably, but I mean, Probably, that's, not, yeah. that's not the metric we're using here to determine. <laughs> I'm just like, I, I think the I think Chan is just too good, you know? Like who, who else does a That's a, definitely a, a like the main factor, I think. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I, I think we can both I, agree there. I mean, I think their win rate is still in like the 90% range uh, for Cloud9 here. They're an insane team. They're always, they've been at the top of the North American seeding for this entire season, basically. And it's it's always the question, like who can manage to beat these guys? How do you beat Cloud9's mage lock? Um, and it seems like Mr. Eric hasn't quite figured it out, but I mean, there were like a couple of good setups there, Subtees from that last game, but none of them just seemed to connect. I mean, that's that's the hardest part right now is finishing a target off uh, before dampening. <laughs> Everybody just lives at 10%, and then there's a Vitality Conduit that just stops all damage. You're going to be okay. A Sacrifice that stops all damage. You need to KO 100-0 before Cubsy can heal. And that it's so hard because they've got an Imp that's dispelling their crowd control in between the chain. they got to run a gamble on that not being dispelled. Um, let alone even being able to get it to a 50 50 because sam has to be in melee range of cubsy which is really hard to do he needs to get greater pyros off which is a really slow cast even with well it's not that slow i guess with haste but um pretty difficult to get a string of those off in a row and then trill's damage isn't really getting too much impact until dampening so they've decided to go to asha mains and I mean, in my mind, this would be their worst map for the matchup. And I say this a lot where I'm like, I feel like they're picking this to say like, all right, if we can't beat them on Ashermanes here, when we know their comp, then we're not going to win the series. So just here we go. Let's put ourselves <laughs> in the hardest situation right now and get it over with. If we don't win, we know we're not going to win. If we do win, maybe we've got a chance and we take their best map. I feel like hmm. you're always such a pessimist with those... With these That's decisions. not that pessimistic. The end of it wasn't. It kind of is. <laughs> if we I win, mean, we I take mean, their best if, map. Like, there's some if, benefits if to it. Uh, <laughs> okay. I actually, wait, I kind of wonder what this what this would look like if Sidu was playing Paladin. Like, if, especially on the smaller map, I feel like you can get away with playing Paladin. He can maneuver in and out. He has more breaks for crowd control. Like, he has Divine Shield as well as the Trinket to save Sam I am. I mean, the Mist Weaver Monk is nice, and I think CD's a little bit more comfortable, but I think Paladin is really good. I don't know. You get extra crowd control, too. You get a full Polymorph. Pal Paladin like, with Like, if you get a full Monk? Polymorph and it gets Singed, then you can just go Blinding Light and Hammer of Justice. Like, mm -hmm. you have a lot more I don't covers. Know. I don't really agree. I feel like the main reason Sam isn't just falling over every setup is because Jade Statue is healing him while he's running around in circles. With I feel like there's no healing going out when the when Sue gets crowd controlled on a paladin, and if Cloud Nine just get clean setups, then I don't. I feel like Sam would die so fast if Sue was a paladin. Well, that didn't Can happen just... when we saw when we saw um, Jamili's team. They were playing with a paladin. They didn't just fall over instantly. They played Rogue Mage though too. I don't know, but. It could definitely work. I'm. I like the way Sidu's playing. I also think getting like the double paralyze is a nice way to get around the imp to spell too. Maybe they should consider allocating like one paralyze on the imp when Sam blinks in, even if it stalls the dispel for three seconds, three extra seconds where Cubsy's expecting to be removed from the polymorph and he isn't. Might be enough to catch them off guard. I mean, this is going to be really tough for them here. The hook point they went they went from hook point to Ashamane's fall here. I, 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 I know you you touched on it, Sid, but Zico, do you think that this is a, a wise choice here with this composition and this map? I feel off? like I actually think that if you play on the small maps, you want to have a holy pile on your team, and if you play on the bigger maps, I think a Mist Weaver is the play. So on this map, 100% Mist Weaver, but on hook point, I agree with Van. I think they should have played Pale because they actually would have had more lockdown which seemed to be the missing ingredient. Uh, it seemed to me like they needed more offense and the Holy Paladin is gonna bring you that on the smaller maps, especially where, uh, you know, his weakness essentially, which is getting crowd controlled, uh, is not really gonna be as easy to exploit. 
because he's always going to be kind of close to a pillar. All right, well, it's Cloud9 on match point versus Mystery Org. Loser of this series that gets knocked down to the lower bracket. It's really interesting to me that they picked this map. Like, I wonder why they decided to go with Ashermans. I, it feels I like you, this my is... explanation makes sense. Like, they're picking it. If we can't beat them on Ashermans here when we know it's coming, they're saying we're not, we're not going to win the series. So let's just go, into, guess, the, I, go into the I fray like... and see what happens. You know what that doesn't, that, that actually can't. doesn't make sense, though, because if you have a better option, wouldn't you want to win on that better option and then like it, win on Ashamance? I yes. feel like this is going to be the comps for the whole series, though. <laughs> I don't think... I feel like Cloud9's not going to change. I don't think Mystery Org would either, even if Mystery Org won here. Yeah, but yeah I, I mean... I've never, I've just never heard of a team saying, yeah, we're going to throw this game. And just like... <laughs> well, it's not a complete throw. It's like... <laughs> Let's let's pick the hardest one. So, so this this is something I like that Sam I am is doing. Instead of like pushing in and going and getting your polymorph singed and just being a punching bag, literally just sit back and just sling pies. Bank. Just yep. just yeah, just bake greater power blast the entire game. Uh, you hit a wealthy man, hit Chanimal, tax cubs these mana, and when you do find a couple in a row, that's when you potentially uh, make a push. But uh, I, I really. I don't mind uh, this particular playstyle. Just get out as much damage as you can. Maybe that'll create some opportunities for you because it seems like when he's forced in the middle of the map, he's getting bullied quite hard by Channel and Wealthy Man. I mean, these two are experts at denying crowd control and kind of bullying casters and rotating their crowd control. So uh, I don't I don't mind this from Mr. or at least feel it out a little bit and see how it works out. I feel like there's no way Trill volunteered to pick this map. Like, look at him right now. He's just a, even a windwalker. He's just waddling around. Like, he made it to a box. Good job, Trill. <laughs> You're, I don't feel like he's ever going to get to a target. They're just relying on Sam to just be a greater pyro cannon right now. Trill finally making his way in here, but if he line of sights, he's going to get stunned. So he's like, all right, not going around that corner. Going to hit Wealthy Man here. Dropping a bit of damage on Wealthy Man, but then getting feared away. Trill finally connecting to a target, but Sam's interrupted. Yeah, Trill just ports back. Like Cloud9 midfield, Ashamanes can't be there. Sam, kill them. I mean, Trill's basically a cheerleader, but Sam's 1v2 wins Chanimal and Wealthy Man, and it's not going too good for him. He blinks back out of line of sight. Double Shadow Fury from Chanimal around the corner. Sam Am sneaks in a sheep. Are they going to do anything with the sheep? They can't really. They're pinned at this box with a blizzard. Chanimal on the right, Wealthy Man on the left. Cubsy straight chilling in the back line. Beautiful triangle position. They do manage to go after Wealthy Man for a moment, but Vitality Conduit stabilizes him. Spam Fear Trill. Now Spam Fear Sam. Spam Poly Trill. Cloud9 just have complete crowd control dominance in the matchup, and they're just playing that, that slow standard game. The slow and steady wins the race. Yeah, and now we're going to see a greater power blast connect and a paralyze onto Cubsy. And I think this is exactly what you want to do is Mr. Or just stay back and, and sling pies, like Ben said. Just if you get two power blasts in a row onto somebody, it's Channel, the Wealthy Man, you can blink in, get a paralyze, drop a meteor with Combust, and it might be enough damage to actually outright kill somebody. Um, otherwise, you can also do that and force uh, Cubsy, you, you, you know. Sam is just baking right now. They actually do get a full sheep here, but I think it was Singed right there. So I don't think this push is going to net too much. Actually, Mystery Org having to use their cocoon. Uh, but I do think if they sit back like that, they can potentially even force Cubsy to actually heal and then win the game maybe at the back of a counter spell on the healer. So uh, I think as long as you're doing damage, you're going to find openings to actually win the game later. And now Sam is actually not in range of that Vitality Condor. He's just getting blasted, blinks into range, and he's going to stabilize. And uh, yeah, I don't think either of these teams are going to be finding too many major defensives uh, at this point, uh, considering that's only going to happen really if a mystery or that pushes in and, you know, risks their positioning. Yeah, Sam, I am still destroying a greater power loss. Trill in a position, a very forward position at this point. He's going to be really durable on that monk with how much versatility and all the defensive cooldowns that he has. But I mean, I, I just... I want everyone to pay attention to Cubsy's positioning in this game. He just stands up so far away on the opposite side of the map of Sam I Am constantly. He's just making Sam I Am have to commit double shimmer if he wants to get any attempt at crowd control. And this is the exact type of healer you want when you're playing Mage Warlock. I mean, Cubsy is literally, uh, yeah, he's such an insane healer. Positioning fantastic, and Cloud9 take full advantage. 
of their composition. And right now, once again, Mystery Org, they're going to be forced to rotate back to the pillar. Sam's still just looking for these greater power blasts. And right now, this doesn't seem like it's working out. It's not, it doesn't seem like it's super effective, but at like 20, 30% dampening, all of these greater power blasts on Wealthy Man, they are going to start adding up. But I, I do worry that if Trill can't get to a target and he's just getting spam crowd control and kited, that I don't know if Mystery Org is going to be able to find the pressure that they need. Yeah, and then Cedar's gonna have to overextend to try and get him out of crowd control. It could be dangerous here on match point. Cedar gets counterspelled. Cubsy's rolling in, looking for a hammer. Hammer's down. Trill is polyed. Sam isolated, but Cubsy gets intercepted. Both healers in a polymorph. I think Sam's more so on the back foot here, trying to retreat around the corner. Dropping a ring of frost. Trill's helping him out with a couple of vivifies. Trill can at least support with some heals here if he's never able to actually get to any target. Cedar gets intercepted here, caught in a blizzard, trying to roll back out of line of sight. Sam goes invisible. Frozen Orb down on Sidu and Trill. Ultimate just min-maxing his DPS at this point. Sam gets a Pyro, looks for a second. Is he going to be able to find it? Huge hit on Chanimal. cubsy has got more than enough cooldowns. And Cubsy's playing really far away. Trill manages to get in range, dropping a Paralyze. So Cubsy pre-Vitality Conduits. And that Dressing Gas from Trill is not going to even dent Chanimal. Yeah, Chanimal actually ported that dress right there. So very nice play there. I actually want to see Trill put his port onto Chan's port. Because like you guys said, he's going to struggle with uptime. So... I think if he can do that, or potentially even put his port in the middle of the map, and then go behind the pillar with his teammates. But, so there, right there, Chan dropped his port, and he's standing on top of it. He gets stunned on it. Song, Song of Chiji being casted out by Sidu here. Maybe a reship coming out of Sam. Let's see, can they land the song? They do. Chan in a lot of trouble here. Trinket sacrifice coming out here from Cubsy. Very nice. So the patience of Mystery Org does pay off for a little bit, but. They don't have life cocoon as well. And now let's see what happens here on the back end. Sam activates his temporal shield. Cubs is looking for the hammer from downtown. He gets it. Trill trying to shut down the CC, but Wealthy Man sneaks in with a polymorph. Sam with a defensive Dragon's Breath Ring of Frost. Still taking a lot of damage. Sidu still in crowd control. Finally gonna come out of there. Chanimal now looking for some fears, but not gonna be able to find them. And Trill, you guys see that? Right there where Chanimal's port is, that's where Trill's port is as well. So excellent here for Trill. He's gonna be able to or uh, maybe it's Cedar's port. I'm not sure. There's two monk ports on top of each other by, on the other side. So it's one of the monk's ports basically on top of it. So uh, if they want to <laughs> get there, uh, they can. And 50-50. Uh, it's a 50 it, It's one of the monks. I don't know which one. <laughs> but uh, if they can actually go now before that sacrifice rotates back up and do a push onto Chan, this is really good for them because he's not going to be able to kite with the way uh, he's positioned right now. Yeah, Sam I am finds two greater power blasts. They don't even hurt wealthy, man. It's actually kind of crazy. They have so much versatility. Even greater power blast looks like it doesn't do that much damage. Full polymorph now into Cubsy. Going to be rotated onto wealthy man. Greater power blast being channeled out once again. Channel ducks out of line of sight. And uh, Sam I am unfortunately won't be able to find the damage. And now he's being forced away. Shadow Fury on to Sidu. Good burst damage here from Cloud9. Forcing Mystery Org back at the pillar. Once again, and the cooldowns for Cloud9 are rotating back up. Trinket Sacrifice almost available. There's a Blessing of Protection, Divine Shield. Cubsy almost has essentially everything he needs to keep Channel alive. And here it goes. Paralyzed. Sidu going for a Song of Chi Is he going to be able to find it? Leg Sweep. Now potentially into a Song of Chi Sam I am. Not even doing that much damage. It's just Trill on a solo mission on Channel, putting out tons of pressure. And they do manage to force out Channel Trinket as well as Cubsy Sacrifice. So great push there. And the Divine Shield. Great push there by Mystery Org. And Tamheim got basically completely shut down. That was actually insane pressure from Trill. I feel like Channel either needs to relocate his Demonic Circle or something here, because that's supposed to be his safety net. And right now, Trill and Cedo, I think, both can port pretty close to it and chase him. So he's just going to port right now to line of sight of Greater Pyroblast. Maybe that's his only use for it. Uh, it's Singe on the poly, but Sam gets a follow-up. Chan gates away from Trill. Trill in hot pursuit with a flying serpent kick. No more crowd control, though, for Cubs. The Avenging Wrath is up. Huge blast onto Sam. It's match point for Mystery Org. Getting counterspelled. Blinking back. Dragon's Breath on Wealthy Man. Trying to stall by time for Sidu to stabilize. Wealthy Man just going to polymorph Sam. Realizes he's not going to kill him through Sidu's healing. Chanimal repositioning here. I'd almost like to see him reposition his Demonic Circle back behind this pillar, and then the monks would have to overextend to chase him down. But he's not relocating that Demonic Circle just yet. 
Chaos Bolt's over on the trail. He's going to have to duck for cover. Cedar's almost half mana there. Channel relocates the Demonic Circle. Now Cedar and Trill need to decide, all right, we're going to take that pillar and try and reposition on top of Channel for a deep dampening push. I mean, look how much distance they're going to have to close with a Frost Mage named Wealthy Man in between them. I mean, it's this is not going to be an easy task for Mystery Org. They're charging in. Cedar's following him as well. They polymorph Wealthy Man. Good teamwork here by Mystery Org to isolate Channel. They've got him in a great spot. They dispel the song, but they leg sweep the, the spell. Nice play there by Sidu. Huge damage by Mystery Org. Cubsy Trinkets. He doesn't have many options in terms of cool downs though they're still putting the pressure vitality conduit going to save him but it was a great push by mystery org if they can hold on and keep repeating these they do have opportunities but that opportunity might be slipping away cedu gets oh. counterspelled sam gets blasted cedu's out of crowd control now healing up sam holding on to life cocoon greater pyro fishing by sam trying to blink in and find it and mystery org are in a good position at this pillar i feel like channels it needs to relocate it if he wants to try and avoid them because right now mystery org have taken control cubs needs to preemptively sacrifice the next attempt or chan is just gonna die oh he got an enough proc and he's gonna get bubble so never mind he can just bubble sack now uh we're gonna see <laughs> cubs he actually doesn't use it doesn't use the sacrifice either. He gets singed out. He gets resheeped. Song of GG is being casted out. He's going to connect. No singe. Touch of death on the channel. He's going to use unending result immediately here. What are they going to do? Do we have any more CC? Blessing of protection out of the leg sweep. Should be enough here. Cubsy going for the divine fave. Big heal there onto Chan. He could still be in trouble though. Sam actually on the back end here. Getting Chaos bolted. Getting destroyed. But c responds with the life cocoon. And now another sheep with the Frost Nova. But the singe wins the 50-50. And C9 can thank their lucky star for that one because that was a scary sheep right there. Cubsy wouldn't have his wouldn't have had his bubble for it before it would end, but now he finally does, and he has his sacrifice. So Cubsy, he has enough cooldowns to even get his trinket back by using those cooldowns in the meantime. So now it's all about Cloud9, and they are looking at Sam here. This could be the ice block. He's trying to hold on to a temporal shield. Carterize triggers. He does only trigger the Carterize, and he's able to hold on to the ice block. So not too bad here for Sam, but still a victory nonetheless for C9. Yeah, right now, 42% dampening in this game. Sam, I'm getting interrupted, getting shut down. Trill still pushing forward to get some uh, pressure rolling on a channel. See you caught into a full fear. Wealthy Man getting poly to morphed up by Sam. I am. He realizes he's in trouble right now. He needs to be careful. He does have the ice block, but no cauterize. He's not going to have that cheat death, so he's going to have to watch out for a big burst damage coming in from Cloud9. Wealthy Man actually being targeted down. Multiple Greater Power Blasts coming into the chest! Wealthy Man almost gets absolutely deleted. That was a great swap by Mystery Org, punishing Wealthy Man. And I think at this point, Samheim, he just needs to Pyro Blast anyone he can. He can go after Wealthy Man, he can go after Chanimal, just do damage. Do as much damage as you can. Cubsy will struggle. And eventually you can find opportunities that way. And I think as long as Mystery Org does that, they're still not looking too bad in this game. Trill needs to find a way to stay on a target at this point with two openings. Mystery Org, this is the best they're looking on. What I would argue is like one of their worst maps. So if they could steal Ash and Main's fall away from Cloud9, that would be important to their overall victory in the series. They need to reverse sweep NA's toughest team, Cloud9. That's a tall order here. Trill getting on target. Sam lobbing out Greater Pyro. Sidu probably trying to drink. I feel like his mana could be a problem. Trill can't get to a target, though. He's taking huge fire. Line of sighting here. Sam in the back, just fishing for flame strikes. Cloud9 want to stall. They're waiting for any resolve. That's, they just want to buy time. But Trill knocks Channel out in the open. But he never wards a Greater Pyro back at Sam. Double Shadow Fury. Triple Crowd Control. Huge Chaos Bolt. Gets counterspelled by Sam. Ultimate Kona Cold's Trill trying to get him off of Channel at this point. Paralyze on Chan. Sam goes for another pyro. Channel ports out a line. Wealthy Man gets polyed. Sam tries to pyro as Wealthy Man. Wealthy Man shuts it down with a counter spell. Trill feared out in the open. They're like going absolutely crazy after Sam there. Chaos Bolt after Chaos Bolt. This could be a block. Big oh! connect. Oh my. Ooh. Doesn't block. On match point, another Chaos Bolt. Yeah, Sam's not going to disrespect Chan's Dark Soul in that position. Trading the ice block. Cancels it. Goes for greater pyros. Is he going to regret it? Channel still trying to find some Chaos Bolt. C2 is struggling to top the team. And this is the Cloud9 we know and love. Deep dampening, triple threat. All that poke damage is starting to sink in. Look at c entire team on match point. Barely any cooldowns left. Barely any mana left. And they're all just dying, pinned at the pillar. They're being choked out. I feel like that was a pretty defining moment in the game right there. c 
he tried to sit down for a drink there. Ch uh, Sam got reflected on his greater pyro, and then they did a setup with that, stopped the drink, and forced out the ice block. C9 are just in a chokehold position now, and they were actually the ones behind the pillar, giving out the, basically the entirety of the map here for Mystery Orb. I think Mystery Orb should have sat down and drank the moment that happened, and just had Sam on max range, spamming out graders. But unfortunately for them, that, I think, uh, wrong decision there is going to cost them a lot. And Sam is dropping dangerously low here. Ciro activates the Vitality Conduit, but you can tell this Mistweaver, he does not have a lot of juice left in that mana bar. You can see Trill now ducking for cover here as he had to use his Ford Brew and that Frost Mage damage, all those little tickles here that, C uh, that Sid likes to call them, are really starting to add up. These are some painful tickles at this point. Absolutely. I mean, Trill, he's trying to move forward. They realize it's kind of do or die at this point of the game. They have to try to make a push. They are on match point. Trill uses the karma. They shred through it immediately. And Trill is in a lot of trouble. Diffuse magic spamming out vivifies. I don't know if he's going to be able to run. He does have his portal. He's going to have to use it. But that is not the position you want to be in as Trill. You push out for just a moment. You have to trade out your karma. You have to trade out your diffuse. Sam, I am taking big chaos bolts. And this is looking awful for Mystery Org. Cloud9 is looking like they're going to 3-0 them and send them down to the lower bracket. Let's see what Sam is going to be able to do. He's still just tanking all this damage, looking for Crater Power Blast, and he gets sniped and taken down. Once again, Cloud9 showing dominance with their Mage Lock. Cloud9 3-0 oh, 